Multiflora rose. Multiflora rose. And then it's really a rose. It gets a white rose-like flower. And if it was a uh, used in a garden, which in some, it has a little bit, but not never in North America that I know of, it would be in the category of a climbing rose. I don't know if anybody's got roses at home. You know, there's tea roses and miniature roses and climbing roses. This would be a climbing rose. And none of the roses truly climb. What they do is, you see in the back, this green one shooting way up. They can kind of thrust their way up through things, like an arbor that you might have put up. Usually you got to help them a little bit. So they can kind of snake their way up. Look at this one right here going straight up. And then next year it might even get further. So they kind of give the appearance of climbing a little bit. Nasty prickle. These red fruits, known as rose hips, you might see different types of vitamin C's. And one of them might see vi natural vitamin C from rose hips. You, 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 I'm sure you'd find a container of them that said that. Uh, some teas, herbal teas, will have rose hips in them, ground up, and it adds some vitamin C and a little tartness to it. Uh, you can eat them, but they're very, very tart and sour. But that's because there's a lot of vitamin C in them. Uh, so all roses, the, the, the fruit is called a hip, H-I-P, a rose hip. So they get that, like all the roses. Some are bigger and smaller, but this is, that's what this one's size is. Um, they are real bad problems in pastures. They, From a distance, they look like just a big green meatball. And when you get close, it's like, whoa. You know, and it just takes a percent of the land out of pasture. You know, cows don't like sticking their nose in there. And then they stay away, and then every year it gets a little bigger, and so you got to deal with them. So it's it was brought in as, a, again, a very aggressive conservation, erosion-preventing kind of plant, and it is, but it doesn't stay where you know we put them. Here's a good example of twining. That's a bittersweet going up a rose, the bittersweet one. It cra cracked the rose off from where it was attached still hanging in there like it's strangling it. Isn't that wild? 